When a baby is born prematurely, has health problems, or a difficult birth, they go straight to NICU, the neonatal intensive care unit for round-the-clock care. There, clinicians do everything they can to support brain development, because every negative interaction in the NICU can have an adverse effect on their tiny, vulnerable patients. We know that babies are supposed to be inside their mum's tummy until their 40 weeks gestation. It's a nice, warm, wet, and comfortable environment. There are some sounds coming through. In the neonatal unit, totally different. The environment is light, it's noisy. It's because it's a busy place and babies have to be seen, observed very closely. For this reason, incubators play a vital role in protecting the baby's brain during their crucial time in NICU. What we want to try to do is avoid unpleasant, nasty stimuli, which can disrupt a baby's stability uh, when they're on the neonatal unit, because we know that can affect their short-term physiological outcomes, but also their longer-term outcomes, while trying to promote the nice things, which is a positive stimulus for the babies. If you were to track the touch patterns of an infant within their first 72 hours of life, they would experience 92% of negative touch. The infants are deprived from positive experiences, um, such as kangaroo care, which is skin-to-skin -skin contact and cuddling with mum and dad. So this is extremely traumatic for um, the baby's parents um, and family. That's why GE Healthcare's Giraffe Omnibed Care Station has been specifically designed to mimic the environment of the uterus. It has intricacies within the technology to reduce the, the harmful environment that can have these negative effects on the baby's neurodevelopment in terms of sound, in terms of light, reducing those negative touches. An incubator isn't just an incubator. The differences between them can be the difference of a healthy, mentally and physically infant going into adulthood and then them having some major cognitive and behavioural problems. So one of the most important things we needed to do in the design was to keep the baby warm. Even just a one degree drop in their core temperature for what that specific baby needs to be at, it can increase the risk of sepsis by 11% and it could increase the risk of mortality by as much as 28%. The giraffe incubator is also able to collect and store high fidelity data to make it easily accessible both during the baby's stay in hospital or in the future. We've seen improvements in the monitoring of heart rates, oxygen saturations, respiratory rates and also some of the more subtle measures of babies, so things like heart rate variability or temperature differences. And with the improvements in technology, what we're now seeing is that we can integrate all of this information so that it's presented back to the clinician, enabling them to make the best decisions for the babies that are in front of them. One of the key challenges in any NICU, though, is the negative effect of constant noise, particularly sudden alarms, at a crucial time during the baby's neurological development. So the concept of a quiet NICU is to make it the environment as quiet as possible by eliminating the noise from the environment and the building, minimising the noise from the equipment, particularly the alarms, but promoting that comforting noise of the, their caregivers and the family. That's why GE Healthcare has collaborated with their global partner in order to provide a simplified and fully integrated solution to connect all the noisy alarms and devices surrounding and including the incubator, reducing negative noise by the bedside, allowing for centralised alarm visibility, and also for all the baby's critical data to be presented at the point of care, thus playing a crucial role in the sought-after quiet NICU.